The circulation of the new Japanese bills was made possible because of the agri plant grow in here in Nepal. Stacks of the raw material for new banknotes piled up, ready to be shipped to Japan. The agri plant or paper bush has long been used for making Japanese washi paper. It's also gone into the country's paper money for more than a century. However, production in Japan has been on the decline for some time now, and the country sources more from Nepal. Much of it is grown in the foothills of the Himalayas, a seven-hour drive from the capital, Kathmandu. Farmers spend months each winter processing the bark by steaming, peeling, and washing it. A Japanese farm from Osaka has been sharing technical support with them for 30 years now. At first, we were working to support people in Nepal, but now it's difficult to make Japanese banknotes without the material they supply. I think Nepal is actually supporting Japan. More than 1,000 Nepalese are now involved in the agari production. A local company purchases around 100 tons of it each year for export to Japan. The company's president, Hari Shwesta, says it is a significant source of income for farmers. Nepal is a country with few exports, so we are very happy to be able to contribute to Japan's banknotes by producing this quality raw material. We begin in Japan, where new banknotes are being introduced for the first time in 20 years. When the new notes were released on July 3rd, the workers in Nepal felt a sense of achievement. We worked so hard, and now the money has finally been released in Japan. I want to touch some and hold on to it if possible. <laughs> The new banknotes are not only creating a stir in Japan, but also helping improve living standards in one of Nepal's poorest regions. Mitamura Talo, NHK World, 